So hello adventurers and welcome to the club. This is one of the smallest pocket knives I own. It was actually a little gift from a tobacco company. That's why it has a pipe cleaning tool. But it has a nail file here, which I actually could use right now here. And it got a big blade, let's call this the big blade, and you got a small blade. Yeah. But it still, it could fit in uh, Altoids tin like this, which is not an Altoids tin, this is my tuna can survival kit. The video is somewhere on my channel, there aren't much videos, so you will find it. And yeah, this is the smallest one I currently have here. I have a bit of a smaller one, but it still isn't that small. It's, yeah, it's about like my pointy finger from length thickness. It's okay. But I have another knife. And this is actually the smallest and lightest knife I have. It is this one here. Yeah. Let's get you a bit better in here. It says super hand on it. It got a rivet here, little cut out here. The other side is marked in Chinese with a symbol of a hand. Looks like from a tarot game. And what you do is you simply grab this blade, open it. And now you have a knife. It's simple, simpler, simple as it could get. But yeah, this is a very interesting thing. Sharpness wise, well, let's find out. Yeah, it's sharp. It is actually sharper. Then, oh hell, <laughs> yeah, it's sharper than the other one, which is still sharp, but I have to sharpen this. To me, every knife has to be a razor blade. <laughs> and yeah, this is the smallest knife I own. The smallest and lightest knife. <laughs> I've actually made. I have to a loud. I have actually made one myself that is close to this, inspired by it, but what makes it really really useful is the use of the hole they have here in the back with the rivet. It slides in and it slides out. It is open down here. very thin metal and let me see if I find a fitting exacto knife blade scrap here yep here we have a exacto knife blade you see it is practically the same blade without those little lines those lines are there so you can snap the blade this one isn't intended to be shortened by snapping it, so it doesn't have those lines. Otherwise, the rivet here, you have of course a rounded off part here on the side. So, this one you couldn't angle down because of this. You have to have this round here, so it is able to tilt like this. Yeah. I really like this little knife. This is such a cool vintage piece. And I actually think it is too bad they don't make those anymore. Uh, too bad this camera doesn't focus closer. That's the closest it gets. Yeah. Simple, but I think it is ingenious. Yeah. 
knife from the 60s or 70s. Why don't they make those anymore? This is so useful. It's so easy and so simple. You just have a blade, a rivet and the thinnest metal case you can imagine. You just snap it shut. It's in here. You just have to take it out and you can use it immediately. It's not a self-defense tool. I mean, you could put the finger back here and try to someone a little cutty cut, but <laughs> you won't find <laughs> this knife against the grizzly. I mean, that said, I wouldn't even fight a grizzly with my big knife if I didn't have to. But yeah, little rivet, very thin metal, and yeah. Now I will give you some close-up shots of the knife and well, if you happen to speak Chinese, let me know if this just means super hand like it stands here stamped or if it means something else like tiny folding pocket knife or something like this. So let's go to the shots. So and now let me use this time to talk about something very useful very important. I want to tell you and I want to say science should concentrate more on increasing our lifetime and the quality of our lives instead of well shortening it with new weapons and well this kind of things. <laughs> yeah so keep your knife ready Go out, have fun, explore and stay away from politics unless you're trying to ask <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed it and I see you next time here at the Adventures Club.